I'm so sorry about that. I hate doing it that way, but, um, oh well. It's just another way that the devil likes to aggravate us. Anyway, never mind. See, that breaks up my train of thought. And I texted her and I told her, don't bother me. Okay. Uh, now see my... And I, all right, let me just try to pick up where I left off here. I was telling you that my main point in making this video was so that you would understand why there are false prophets, how they can know stuff, and how come it comes true. Because Satan already knows with, when it comes to politics. The Illuminati already told ahead of time when these boys who are now young men, like take for instance Obama, they started when he was very young and he was groomed to be president. It was no surprise to the Illuminati that he became president. And the votes were rigged so that it would look right. Okay? Does anybody remember that fiasco? Anyway. See, they have them already picked out. And that's how come they can send a demon. But Satan can send demons to these people men at the right time and tell them however it is they communicate with them and tell them this so-and-so is going to run for president and he will win. All right. Now, the state, I might have already read this, but I'll pick up here. Uh, the statements by Kaduri also reference excerpts from the ancient book the, Go the Covenant of the Persimmon by Kabbalist Rabbi Sashan Hay Shoshani, who Kaduri said was known as the prophet of Egypt. Shoshani said, There will come on the day that two ministers win the government in the land of Israel. Both their names will be Benjamin, and neither of them will succeed in establishing their government or kingship. All right. Moving on. On that day, know and understand that King Messiah already stands at the doorway and on the Sabbath afterwards. He will come and be revealed. That's what I was trying to figure out. Which Sabbath are they talking about? Has that day come and gone? After there's been several elections and there's still no government and there's still no um, kingship between the two, okay, neither one of them. Now, if I'm if I'm wrong, if that has happened this week, let me Google it real quick. Here, I put uh, I looked up Kabbalah. It's all mysticism. It's not godly. So, just know that. You can look it up yourself and read the big, long paragraph if you want. But I'm going to try to keep this short. Okay. So, was there, and that was something I meant to pull up first. Was there an election in Israel this week? Latest news in Israel. Israel election 2020 in the Heretz.com. Israel election 2020 breaking news and analysis as Benny Gantz tries to beat. All right, let me click on this. None of my glasses are, are helping me read, and that's not helping me any. I'm straining to read, and it's probably 
adding to my fatigue right now. And um, I'm trying these three-way readers. Okay. The Netanyahu Gantz government experience and talent are a drawback. May 19th, 2020. What is today? The 22nd. And that's just an article. The real winners of Israel's election. Ultra-Orthodox parties amass great economic power. This was written the 18th. In coalition deals with Netanyahu's Likud, Shas, and United Torah Judaism. So sorry, my ad blocker is on. I turned it off. Now go away. For heaven's sakes. I'm going back. It wasn't saying what I wanted it to in the first place. It wasn't about an election that determined one or the other were winners. Alright. And this is not turning out like I wanted, but I hope you're getting my point. Um, did I read the part I wanted to? I think I did. Um, according to the Jewish Telegraphic Agency, in a meeting between Netanyahu and Kaduri in 1997, on their shared birthday, Netanyahu was recorded as whispering to the rabbi that left-wing people, quote, have forgotten what it means to be Jewish, unquote. Ehud Barak, then head of the Labor Party, responded that, quote, Netanyahu will not teach me or anyone else what Judaism is. Unquote. All right. I skipped a, a little part of it. You can. I will link it in the description box. You can read it all. It is from the Jerusalem Post. It isn't real super current like I wanted. September twenty fourth, twenty nineteen. So I can't. I haven't been able to find something that happened this week that would have made this prophecy any more. Let's just say this. It's not believable. Don't put your hopes in it. If it happens, it's because Jesus wanted it to. Not because Kaduri predicted it. Jesus could come tonight. He could come tomorrow night. But we're looking at the 29th or the 30th. You can check up Steve... Uh, So sorry, my mind went blank. Steve Fletcher, 222. He talks about it. And I know he has set a date, missed it. And so, but the man is continually looking. He's watching. The prophecy of his coming revealed. He's been on a couple radio shows just real recently telling how he came to, to be such a diligent seeker of when's the next possible date when's the next possible date he's looking he's seeking for that next possible date and I know people have gotten tired of him saying this has got to be it but now he's saying May 30th I think I'm pretty sure it was 29th or 30th so I'm just going to end this here and I hope I made my point whether Jesus comes or not, I think that their king that they're waiting on is not the one we're waiting on because they're not Christians 
and Jesus is not coming for the Jews till the end of the seven year tribulation. They have to go through it. And he will protect the Orthodox, not the evil. They'll, they'll be put into the same pot, you could say, as the evil people here. The Illuminati, they're part of the Illuminati. They're part of who the Vatican controls. Not the Orthodox that are waiting for the Messiah, son of God, son of David, would be son of David. That's who they're waiting for, son of David. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. I do plead the blood of Jesus over both of these because it seems that uh, they didn't want me putting this up, and I don't know why. I mean, it just, this Jerusalem Post article, I've never had an article bounce around like this trying to make me lose my place, and that's frustrating. And then... Oh, if, you know, I think sometimes if only I could just have my own house. <laughs> but I have a nice place. I just have to put up with interruptions now and then. <laughs> it's not that often. So anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the Internet Connection, and myself, my computer, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your Internet Connections as well. And I say, God bless each and every one of you. Bless you with all that you need. Bless you with peace. Bless you with more knowledge and wisdom. Bless us all with more discernment. Holy Father, I ask you to grant us all more discernment, wisdom, and understanding of the word, the written word as it was meant to be understood. I pray that for everybody, as well as pleading the blood for protection. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.